Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. Today we'll go through some mate uh, options, which are simple yet very useful. Uh, it allows you to show how your model can move or rotate. This is especially useful in models that have more degrees of freedom and must be constrained properly to move in a way that is designed to. Our first example is a cabinet and we have just the cabinet itself and a door. See how I've constrained it for the moment so that it opens up to 90 degrees and it shuts right at the edge of the cabinet. To do this we applied a limit angle mate and we'll do this together. I'll suppress my existing mate. Now without that mate this door is allowed to open and close into the cabinet, which isn't realistic because uh, usually you have a hinge inside and the back end of the door will hit the inside of the cabinet and thus not allowing it to push into the cabinet any further. To apply this limit angle constraint, we go into mate, select the outer edge of the door and we select uh, the edge of the cabinet as well. After doing so, scroll down from standard mate, select on the angle mate. Af ha after having that talked on, go on to advanced mate. Here you can, you can specify the maximum angle that the door can open up to, and the minimum angle that the door can shut too. So I've got it on 90 degrees and 0 degrees. After applying this mate, we can we can rotate the door within this um, angle between this edge and this edge. So 90 degrees and 0 degrees. Now we'll look at another example. Now this is a, a lock for some of the older traditional doors uh, where the shaft goes through the lock and onto another bit that is connected to the door frame. Now I have I have limited its movement such that this will only move out this far and in until the little knob hits that edge. And now I'll show you what will happen if we do not apply these uh, mate conditions. This is allowed to move as far as it wants and it can rotate even within the slot. So what I did first was to um, create a mate relation between uh, this face and the top face of the knob uh, to be parallel so that this knob does not move up or down anymore. Secondly, I've I will be creating a distant mate between this face and this face. After clicking onto it, SolarWorks would have automatically assumed that you would like a tangential um, mate condition. We'll again click onto the distance mate, scroll down to advanced mate and specify our maximum um, distance and our minimum distance. So for our maximum distance it's 80 minus 12.5 that is the distance of the slot minus the radius of the knob. Our minimum distance is going to be 0 and we check that box and there it is. Now it will slide in and out without going too far. Um, obviously this design isn't isn't perfect. I just created it to show us that if you apply this mate you can prevent this shaft uh, from going all the way out. In a realistic model there should be um, metal as well in here 
to prevent it from physically moving out. Uh, well, hope this video was educational. Uh, thank you for watching, and this is NCCS, your solar works provider.